Hello and welcome to a new video. Today I'm doing a short tutorial that was actually requested by one of my viewers, a collector up in Canada, Cesar. So what I'm doing today is I'm going to show you guys how to take the wheels off of an axle of an open 12 volt motor. So I've been doing a little bit of motor repair stuff recently and I got a request to show how to take the wheels off and I figured out how to do this but I, it's a little bit difficult and I'm sure that many 12 volt collectors and people who are trying to repair motors do not know how to do it. So I'm going to show you guys how to take the motor wheels off today from the axles. When you take the motor apart and you take the axle out, this is what you'll initially see. So you'll see there are the two wheels on either side and then there's a gear in the middle which connects to the drivetrain of the motor and then there are these two thin circular clips and then these bushings and these bushings, you can't see it very well, but these, these, these can spin these are what are kind of attached to the case. So they let the axle spin. They're not uh, bear, like ball bearings or anything. They just, um, it's just like an axle sleeve, I guess you'd say. So there are two types of clips that you have to remove before you can actually get the wheel off of the axle. And I should also say that the reason why you might want to get the wheels off the axle is that sometimes these plastic gears can crack and then you can't really use the motor anymore because the wheel, the gears can then spin on the axle. This has happened actually three of my axles on motors that I've opened now. Um, that was one of the reasons why I opened them. So these gears can crack and the axle won't have any torque anymore. So you might want to take the wheels off to replace them on another axle. So to get the wheel off, the first thing that you want to do is take off this thin circular clip and hopefully you can see it okay. Uh, apologies for the weird lighting slash angle my lay my table is currently occupied with layout 12 right now so I'm filming at my desk and I'm, I had to get good lighting so I'm using my desk clamp and the phone camera light as well. So you can see that this clip here, if I bring it a little bit closer, um, it's it's really thin. It's it's a little bit hard to see on camera. It's right here where my fingernail is. Actually, I got that screwdriver. It's maybe a little bit easier to see. Right where the tip of the screwdriver is, this kind of metal disc is preventing this circular clip from sliding to the left, which is what you're going to need to move to actually get the wheel off. So this metal disc is not fixed in place. You can take it off. And how you do that is you see there's a little bit of a groove in the axle here, right? So it, the clip has to come off the axle. And if you can see closely there, this clip has a kind of opening right here where the tip of the screwdriver is. I know, I, again, I know it's hard to see, but you, yeah, you can see it right there. So there's a break between the two kind of parts of the clip. And what you're gonna wanna do is take a metal object, you kind of sit, you have to set the axle on the surface, take a metal object. Um, I have these needle nose pliers here and also a screwdriver, which I'm, I'm going to use both of these later in the video for other things. And you have to take this metal object. It should be pretty flat and you'll want to press down on the clip with the opening of the clip facing upwards. So, if you just press, you should hear click. So that click, I think, no, that wasn't the clip disengaging. You have to press in exactly the right spot because otherwise it won't come off. Oh, it's okay, so it has disengaged. So you can see uh, the clip is a little bit offset, so there's a little bit more to the left of it, more to the left of the axle here, and this is because it is disengaged from the axle, and so now it just needs to be pulled loose. So you can do this pretty simply by just using a fingernail to dislodge it, and then the clip can come off. And you can see this is why the clip can come off, is because if you press it, if you press it this way, then these two kind of wings will come apart from each other and it can slide off the axle. And then to put it back on, you have to press the other way in the clip. And I'll show that later in the video as well. So now with that clip off, you can see that this plastic, the, the metal axle sleeve that surfaces the bearing can slide freely on the axle. 
So that's good. That's the first step of getting the wheel out. And the second part is you have to remove the cylindrical spring cliff from inside the wheel. So you can see that the wheel, the inside of it is not all plastic. You can see there's a little bit of reflection here. And the reason why is Lego secured this, uh, this wheel with a metal spring clip that tightens when you try to uh, that it's, t it's so it's tightened around the wheel and because of the way the wheel is manufactured there's a little bit of uh, kind of space or material and when the clip is engaged then the wheel can't be pulled off the axle so you have to take the clip off and the clip is removed by sliding it towards the middle and out of the wheel and you might ask how do I do that well this is where the small screwdriver comes in you want it to have a I guess a pretty long um, pretty long tip and you can see that the axle the hole in it and this hole would be used for a connection rod in the middle wheels because they use the same mold for the middle wheels and the motor wheels this hole goes all the way through the wheel so you can see the cardboard through this hole right here and you can take your screwdriver and angle it like so through the wheel and this will probably take you a couple of tries because it's not too easy the angle is a little bit weird, but you have to take your screwdriver and use it as a lever to push the metal clip out with the point kind of digging into the clip. You have to push it out and it's a little bit difficult, but you can see now it's starting to move. Do you see on this, on this side right here, the clip is starting to move. and now it's off the wheel. So you can see it's just uh, sitting there on the axle and there's a little like a groove here because it's not a solid ring. It is, it's a spring clip so it's meant to, it's meant to say spring closed. So then now all you should be able to do is just pull the wheel off the axle and this shouldn't be too hard. See, I got it out pretty easily. And then you can take these two parts out and do whatever you need so change the axle or clean all the stuff off the axle sometimes you'll find like a lot of hair in the axle and dirty grease and stuff like that so i like to clean these axles all i clean all of my axles before i reassemble and re-glue them onto the motor so for reassembly you see i just put the wheel back on the axle and to get the spring clip back into the wheel is a little bit more complicated because it needs to be pushed down with enough force that it will not push the wheel off but it will go back into the slot that it's supposed to go and that's where the needle nose pliers come in so what i'm going to do and it might be a little bit hard to see but i'm going to attach the needle nose pliers to the axle well not attach them but i'll put them around the axle right here in between the bearing sleeve and the spring clip and i'm going to not hold the axle what you want to do is you want to push down and what that does is it like it you're not pushing you're not squeezing the axle, you're pushing down this way towards the wheel and that will provide force to both sides of the spring clip evenly and it will push the spring clip into the wheel. So you'll want to put the axle probably like this and I know it's going to be a little bit hard to see and it also sometimes this takes a bit but you put your pliers around the axle and then you push down and that was actually quite easy. So you see now the clip is inside the wheel again, it's not on the axle. And then the bearing sleeve can go down and you see this groove in the axle. This is where the circular clip, the flat one, is going to go. And you can use, I guess, tweezers or something if you can't get it in with your fingers, but I'm usually able to get them with my fingers after a couple of tries. All right, so I've gotten it now into that kind of groove but as you can see it still needs to be pushed this way onto the axle and you can use any metal object again either a screwdriver with um, a long enough bit or a pair of needle nose pliers I use the pliers this time I guess and you can just push down you want to put it so that the raised part is on top obviously and then just push it onto the axle again and it'll click into place and you can see it's now even on both sides, which means that it is now securely on the axle. And 
that wheel can't come off. It can spin on the axle, but it's meant that's meant to happen so that there's a little bit of um, clutch, some slip in case the motor encounters something in its way. Now the ax now the wheel is back on the axle, and you can put it back in your motor. So I hope this helped and. Uh, that was my short tutorial for today. Well, maybe it wasn't so short. It's 11 minutes long now. But that uh, that tutorial hopefully will help some people get the wheels off their axles. And it has been it was really useful to get the wheels off the axles for me so that I could replace them onto good axles and also be able to clean all of the old grease and hair off of the axle because sometimes that, uh, that makes it not so nice to run. So I think that's the end of the video for today. I will be definitely working on Layout 12 soon. It's already built. I just have to film it. And so look out for more content soon. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.